Welcome to Taxonomy Online Mathematics. In this video, we want to take a tutorial on the topic plane geometry one. We you know geo simply means F, where metric or metric also means measurement. So basically, we will be doing measurement, calculations of measurements and all those things. But before we start with calculations and the drawings, let's take some key points that we will find necessary in our uh, tuition. The first one is what a point. Now, when we talk of a point, we are just referring to the position. We are referring to a fixed location. So, if I have this, we can call this a point. So, this is point A, point B, point C. Now, a line is a series or a set of what? Point, which is extending in what? Two directions. So, if I have this, which we don't know where it will end, I'm having a line. Because it's a series of points that comes together, we have no end. Then we have a line segment. If we are talking of a line segment, it's also a set of points in a line. A set of points in a line. We have two distinct words, end point. So if I have the end here, so I can call the line segment AB. Because I can measure this and know the actual length. So it's from here to here. I end there. Alright. Then we have a ray. A ray is also a line segment which has a starting point but no end. So it also goes in this direction. It has a starting point, alright, but it goes into infinite word direction. So it is going just like our line. But the line goes in two directions. Which has no word, infinite end. Then if you have a plane, a plane is all about what? Surfaces. A flat surfaces. So definitely flat surfaces that have what? Made up of length and what? Breadth. So if I have this, I can call this a plane. Because they have a flat surface which we can measure the length and we can also measure what? The, the breadth of it. Then the final one will be angles so angles are formed when two lines meet or when two rays meet at a point so if i have this if this is a line and this if they meet here where they are meeting the angle they produce the space they are inclination where they inclined is what we call what angle so this would be the vertex of this angle where these are two lines so we are going to base our uh, lesson today on what angles where two lines meet there are different types of angles we have types of angle so the first one we call it acute angle So when you talk of acute angles, are uh, those angles that are what? Measured less than 90. Angles less than 90, between 0 and 90. So if you have an angle this way, so the angle X here is an acute angle. It could also be something like this. This is also an acute angle. Don't forget angles are measured in degrees. Good, so this is an acute angle. So any angle that is measured less than 90, that is, if I have x, so I can say 0 degree less or equals to what? Uh, x degree less or equals to 90 degrees. If I do so, it means that if I put equals to here, then it means 90 is inclusive. But 90 is not inclusive, so we have it. Angles between 0 and what? 90. Then we have right angle. If you are saying that there is an angle that is less than 90, which is an acute angle, when, what the, if the angle is exactly 90 degrees? So angles are measured up to 90 degrees exactly is what we call 
a right angle and we always use this box to indicate that the angle is what a right angle so any angle that is measured to give you exactly this we call it so if i call this theta it means theta should be equals to what 90 degrees So we have obtuse angles. So let's just say we have a particular angle which is also bigger than what? 90 degrees. So if I have a, an angle that is bigger than 90, we know 90 will have passed here. So this angle is bigger than 90, but it's also less than what? 180. We call those angles what? Obtuse angle. So either angle 100, 120, 130, 150, those angles are all obtuse angle. We also have reflex angles. So this angle is bigger than 180. So let's say I have this angle. I am not interested in this side, but rather I am interested in this side meaning angle Y. If I am looking for this angle, this angle is bigger than 180 and it is also less than what? 360. So all angles that are bigger than 180 but less than 360 are what we call reflex what? Angle. Then if I want to bring five as what? Straight. If it says straight angles, they are just angles that we have on a straight line. So if I have a point here, if there's an angle here, so A, B, C, these angles are angle on a straight line. Or we can say adjacent angles on a straight line. So this angle produces exactly what? 180. Angles at a point also add up to exactly 360. So if I have an angle here, so these four angles, the moment I add all these four angles, I'll have A, B, all these angles add up together to give us what? 360. So we can call these angles at a point or angles that meet at a point. Then, this is angle on a straight line. We have the reflex. We have the obtuse. We have also uh, acute angles and right angles. Now, we have what you call pair of angles. We have some angles that are pair. For example, we have a complementary angles. These two angles are a pair of angles. If I add angle A plus B, I should get what? 90 degrees. Any angles or any pair of angles, either 2, 3, 4, that are in the right angle, if you add them, you are supposed to get what? 90 degrees. So the adjacent angles here in the right angle, when you add them, you also get 90. They call them complementary angles. Then we have a supplementary angles. So all angles that add up to 180. If I have A, B, C. A plus B plus C. If I add all of them to get 180, I call them a supplementary angles. As in, if I have an angle 140 degrees and I have an angle Y. If I'm asked to find the value of Y. I have to know that angles that are on a straight line, they add up to give me 180. Therefore, y plus 140 should be able to give you what? 180. So definitely, if you subtract 140 from both sides, you have 180, 140. Then the value of y 
we will just give you what? 40 degrees. Then you have what you call vertically opposite angles. This angle is from when two lines meet. Cross each other, not meet per se. When two lines cross each other, they produce what? Four set of angles. Vertically opposite angles are equal. So if I have an angle here, which is A, it is vertically opposite to the one here, so this will also be what? A. And the same way, if I have an angle here as B, that angle will also be equal to this. So A and A are the same, while we have B is also going to be equal to B. So whatever value is here is the same as this. Whatever value I have here is the same as this. And in this also, we can see angles on a straight line called what? Supplementary angles here also. If we take this straight line, the angle AB will produce what? 180. If we take this straight line, AB, 180. If we take this and this, the back, 180. The same times, it also gives you angles meeting at a point. Meaning A, B, C, A plus A plus B plus B should be able to give you what? 360 degrees. Angles at a point. But this is vertically what? Opposite angles. Okay, so now let's see how we can use the ideas we have just desired, defined under the type of angles. So we are asked to find the values of all the letters in the, in the diagrams. As we can see, one, two. This is angles meeting at a point. This angle, the A, 155, they are all meeting at this point. So we are go going to say that angles meeting at a point. Angles that meet at a point give us what? 360 degrees. Therefore, the A plus 155 degree plus this angle. We know that this angle is a right angle because of the box there. So that will give us what? 90 degrees. Also be able to give us 360. I believe we are going to have our A plus, if we add this, Take it 10 from here, add it to do give you what 100. So that will be 200 and what 45 equals to 360. If you subtract this from both sides, it will be A equals to 360 degrees minus 245 degrees. I think we still need uh, 55 to be added to this. So 55 plus 60 that would be one one word five degrees so it means the value of a the value of a is what 115 i guess if you use your calculator i believe you also arrive at the same values now if you look at this diagram i believe you can also employ the principle of angles meeting at the point but if I add all the angles, I must get 360. But I'm seeing X, Y, Z. They are all unknown variable. So I cannot add all and get an answer. So I need to take it either vertically opposite because two lines cross each other. Or angles on a straight line. If I want to take angles on a straight line, I can have Y plus 30 equals what? 180. That angles on a straight line. So Y is going to be 180 minus what? 30. And I think that will be what? 150 degrees for Y. I believe so. If that is the case, I can also see that Y is vertically opposite to what? This angle. Therefore, Y equals to Z minus 10. They are equal. But I already know that Y is what? 150 Z minus 10. When this cross over, Z is going to be 150 plus what? 10. That is 160 degrees. So I know Y, I know Z. I believe I can also find what? X. Either X and Y. These angles are also on a straight line. Or 
this angle and 30 are vertically what? Opposite. So I can say x minus 50 is equals what? 30. So x is going to be 30 plus 50 and that will be 80 degrees. So this is one application of the types of uh, angles that we discussed uh, earlier. In the next episode, we will take angle properties of a parallel line. Angle properties of a parallel line. Then we will take uh, angles forms in a triangle. They are types. Then we will start solving questions together. If you are new, don't forget, this is still Tazunomi Online Mathematics. Subscribe, like and share. See you in the next episode.